So we bought this property with a view to trying to make it as uh, carbon neutral and zero upkeep as possible. When we started the renovations, we decided that we would take a, an eco attitude towards the renovations. And so we added a PV array. We also tried to bring wood and stone, which were natural to the, the environment. We completely sort of reconfigured the house and the object of the exercise was to actually bring the outside in and the inside out, hence the large glass doors that you see in the kitchen. And one of the things that we've really enjoyed is that aspect of the kitchen really being part and parcel of the garden. The idea of an open plan living area was something that was fundamental to how we designed the renovation. The house is a complete change. It used to be old, drafty, very dark, um, and cold and we found now that it's a beautiful temperature the air quality is fantastic and quite frankly it's uh, it's always the same temperature and we we really enjoy living here so the project was a renovation and extension of an existing family home the house was tailored for the contemporary life of the, for the new family and the next generation. The vision or the concept for the house was to create a series of uh, extension structures that would weave themselves into the footprint of the existing house. So we used simple geometric shapes that provided that separation between public and private spaces. And then these can be broken, broken apart to create interlink, interlinked connecting spaces through the use of um, sliding doors and pocket doors. We were interested in the delineation between the old and the new and used a palette of materials that sort of celebrated that, um, introducing bespoke joinery in the form of oak-lined sleeves around the house, which we think create contemporary and contextual spaces. A deep recess uh, on the rear elevation allows for the doors to be opened in bad weather. I think a key aspiration for the new extensions were that they would remain subservient to the main house, and so the palette of materials were carefully selected to ensure that the, the final building was contextual, but also contemporary and considered into its context. Our project at Renton Hall rescues a 200 year old country manor that had been vacant and neglected for about 10 years, along with its substantial walled garden, which had been untended for at least a century. Our client's brief was to provide expanded living and also utilitarian spaces alongside a comprehensive restoration of the original manor in order to extend its life as a permanent home. Our approach focused on creating a generous set of social spaces that embraced a feeling of living in the landscape with an open and welcoming kitchen as the social heart of the home. A new wing of living dining and service spaces is offset from the existing south gable, creating a courtyard with a, a primary axis perpendicular to the Georgian house and offset from it. At the southwestern end of the extension, a new rear hall is conveniently combined with utilitarian spaces such as downstairs shower rooms, utility rooms, boot rooms, storage, plant spaces, all of which couldn't be incorporated within the original manor. The new spaces feel borrowed from the gardens and are framed by a composition of massive lime rendered masonry walls arranged in the landscape. The existing manor itself is largely unchanged apart from an intervention to connect the southern ground floor rooms to create the new kitchen.